Okay, so this is my first day on probiotics and my stomach literally feels like it's having a baby. <laughs> I have to feel like I have to go to the bathroom and like my stomach's turning. It felt like it was moving and like going. Like maybe 20 minutes later, now it's really gotta go. Like it's like, yay. <laughs> November 8th, Thursday currently. 11.30 p.m. Again, we are just taking another probiotic. I'm basically taking one every morning on an empty stomach and every night on an empty stomach. First thing I consume in the morning, last thing I consume before I go to bed. We'll do a quick spin up dirt. I have a pimple here, here, pimple here, some here, one little one here. Not too bad, but I just want to see if um this probiotic will like for sure banish all my acne because again it's been literally months since I've actually tried a probiotic again the last time I tried a probiotic regularly was like the last video I posted on it which was probably early on in this year so I wanted to try it again but at a higher dosage because I was told recently like 50 billion even people like should be starting off of not just 2 billion like I did the last video So that really like inspired me to just go out and buy a 30 billion probiotic and then just take two a day So I'm taking 60 billion a day for a whole week and I just want to see how the end result will be for that Hopefully it will be good, but yeah, I don't know. This is my beginning Skin. I definitely want to see if my acne will be banished because I'm getting so sick of my acne and maybe this one might just do it. My acne is getting better and better, so I will catch you tomorrow. Currently Saturday, November 10th, 1.05 a.m. I did not forget to take my probiotic, but I am so tired. I just DJ'd and I'm ready to go to bed. I was so hungry when I got home, so I just ate one banana. Bananas are good for prebiotic foods, so that should actually help this. But ideally, you'd want to have an empty stomach. My 30 billion. <sighs> I'm gonna take off my makeup, go to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Currently November 10th, Saturday, 11.57 a.m. I just woke up because I was DJing yesterday and I have not eaten anything, so I'm going to make sure. Again, I take my probiotic. Okay, so this is the current skin. This pimple definitely flattened. So, maybe after this, if I actually don't have any acne at all after my probiotics, hopefully it's the magic pill. I don't know. Then I could start making acne scar videos finally because I've been dying to make those, but then I couldn't because the longest time I still had stubborn acne. But yeah, again, taking this every morning on an empty stomach, every evening on an empty stomach. Still doing that. November 13th, Tuesday. And I'm going to be taking probiotic. One, I'm actually going to be taking two today because I missed like one day, I think. Because I missed one morning and one night of taking probiotics, so... I am very bad for that. <laughs> so basically this is all flat. Okay, I accumulated these two pimples on my nose. There's still some pimples right here. So basically this is kind of slowly not becoming my problem area anymore. It's just a problem area now for scars. So I really wanna do a derma rolling video. That's why I'm doing this video because I'm hoping that this will be the end of like all pimples, but I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so that's basically the current condition of my skin. And I will update with you uh, tomorrow. Oh my god. My stomach is killing me for some reason today. This happened literally the first day of taking the probiotic. Because the thing is, I took two this morning. Well, that's 60 billion probiotics this morning on an empty stomach. And maybe like 10, 15 minutes later, I don't even know how what time it is. It's like 10 a.m. November 14th. I just feel like my digestive system is turning and like everything is like, I guess, working. It doesn't hurt, it just feels uncomfortable. The probiotics may just work their magic all of a sudden again and get rid of all this, so oh, I just gotta drink a lot of, a lot of water. Okay, see you tomorrow. November 15th, Tuesday, or sorry, Thursday. I just woke up, so I just look so tired. But it's insane, like I missed those two days of probiotics and then my acne like was coming back and then I started, I was taking two probiotics every morning and night. My skin literally like bounced back and was like good again. This has to be a reason why my acne was bad, I think. I literally stopped taking probiotics like way back. Or I think I got one more pill of the two billion, but then I tried to take one every day and it wouldn't work just because I think maybe it wasn't strong enough. 
it probably was because of that because I'm taking 60 billion in the morning and then 60 billion in the evening right now and that's a lot and that's what makes my stomach turn and all that to start my acne scars I just have to keep taking my probiotics because like this might actually be the thing that will work my skin is so red here and this is literally all scarring I think next video uh, you're just gonna see me pump out a bunch of acne scar videos. This may be the magical pill <laughs> of getting rid of my acne. Like I love my aloe vera juice still. I drink that all the time. I still oil cleanse when, when I'm wearing makeup. I still wear my masks. I don't use any harsh cleanser. I just use warm water. I'll occasionally use a cleanser that has salicylic acid in it because it kind of like cleans, gets out all the dirt, it kind of deep cleans. I would never put a salicylic acid toner on though. I'm gonna start doing maybe a vitamin C for a week to see if my scars are going to go away. Okay, I will see you next week with a finally acne scar video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.